Now, what I've got here is a four rib cut of long horn cattle. It's been aged for 35 days, and I've gone for two bone thickness. This should be enough for between two and four people. Don't be tempted to buy individual steaks. Buying the meat and cooking it like this is going to give you much better results. Now, the reason for the blowtorch is twofold. Firstly, by flaming the outside of the meat, you develop this wonderful char-grilled aroma that I've found in the steakhouse in New York. Secondly, this will ensure that any bacteria on the outside of the meat is killed off. But what's very important is to make sure you've got a powerful blowtorch and work all around the joint of meat as quickly as possible. You don't want to spend 10 minutes trying to get this brown. Otherwise, you're going to start cooking the flesh inside, and we don't want to do that. Fantastic. That char-grilled aroma is just wonderful. Now, let's get this in the oven. I've got the oven set at 50 degrees centigrade. Now, it's imperative you get one of these, an oven thermometer. They're not expensive. It'll save you a lot of heartache. If your oven doesn't go as low as 50 degrees centigrade, just wedge the door open slightly, but always set the temperature according to this and not your oven. Now, that meat's going to stay in there for 24 hours. Cooking at lower temperature will keep the meat juicier. In conventional cooking, as the temperature rises, it makes the protein strands contract, squeezing out the juices and drying the meat. Also, at this lower temperature, there's going to be enzymes inside the meat that are activated, and they start snipping away at the protein strands, making the meat even more tender. And finally, they'll generate flavour compounds that are going to make this meat even more flavoursome. So this steak is going to be the juiciest, tenderest, most flavoursome steak you've ever tasted.